Hey, what's up, Santi here. So right now I want to take a look at the Readwise integration with Obsidian. So Readwise right here, I just decided to give it a try. I know it's been a really collab for quite a while, but I honestly was really waiting for the Obsidian integration. So now that it has that, I'm way more willing to try it out. And honestly, I think conceptually it has always been incredible, but now the fact that it integrates with more applications, especially Obsidian in our case, I think is amazing. I'm also willing to try the Notion integration in the future because I've started to use Notion back again. So yeah, you know, we'll take a look. So for now, this won't be a full review of how Readwise works by itself, but something I of course already love out of the bat is the fact that it has dark mode, right? So it does have dark mode, which is amazing. As you can see, there it is. So <laughs> that's already a big sell for me. I already love it because of that. So yeah, once you already have this, and right now we're gonna go to Obsidian, we're gonna open Obsidian, and of course we're gonna install in the plugins, settings, control comma, um, community plugins, browse, and then readwise. So as you can see, there's quite a few, but we're gonna go for the official one. This is the one that I've been waiting for. Um, you know, even though I really appreciate the fact that people spend time on, on the community ones, there's always, this one's of course going to be the best one, so we're going to install that one. And by the way, if you want a bit more guidance on this, there is a great tutorial, let me show you. It's actually incredible when you go to connect, export highlights, and if you go to explore here in Obsidian, you're going to burn your eyelids with this white <laughs> background. By the way, we've watched this on YouTube. This video is incredible, you know, this video just walks you hey through. Um, but yeah, super underrated video, very well made. Of course, I already dropped my comment with some praise. The guys at Readwise are doing an amazing job and I, I can definitely tell that they care about Obsidian. So super excited for that. I think that's awesome. So definitely go check it out if you need a bit more help setting things up. But with that said, let's go back to Obsidian. And once this is enabled, now we can go to Readwise. There we go. Yeah, and I'm gonna click on this gear icon that is gonna take me down here. It's literally the same as scrolling down. So here we are. And now in here, we're gonna connect. All right, so as you can see in here, it says that because we're in the trial period, you know, currently the trial just says that it can sync only the, you know, 10 books. And then it says that if you want to sync the rest, of course, you need to upgrade. I honestly think that makes sense. You know, this trial is pretty generous already. Um, so yeah, we're, we'll go with that. And yeah, hopefully in the future, I'll definitely plan to upgrade because I honestly think this is going to be awesome for my workflow. Honestly, personally, like the reason why I haven't used Readwise yet is, yet is because I had a, a really clunky workflow with book highlights, but kind of it already works. So that's why I was always hesitant to change it too much. But honestly, because I want to teach a bit of my workflow a bit more, using my other method was just too crazy. I had to export things into HTML and it was a mess. So that's why I definitely decided to start checking this out. So, okay. It just says that we are able to do it, but only 10 books. And here we have a couple of settings. Again, check out this video where it tells you a bit more of what the different settings does. But you know, like in general, like you can just check them out. They're pretty self-explanatory and here it explains a bit. Okay, group files and category folders. We're gonna leave that on just because I want to see how it works. Select items export. Okay, so in here you get to, to choose which ones. Either way, it seems like we're limited to 10 books, so I don't really want to mess with that too much. Use custom formatting. Okay, this could be something really advanced that if you want me to, I can definitely explore in a future video because this can help you just like improve the formatting of, of how your book comes into Obsidian and I think that could be really cool. But for now, we're just gonna leave it at default like that. And yeah, with that, what do I need to do? To read wise, so return to Obsidian to initiate the first sync. So let's do that. All right, so here in Obsidian, we're gonna initiate sync and let that sync in for a bit. It should take a little while. And by the way, this is really my first impressions. Usually when I make a video of first impressions, I try to at least like see how things work a little, but this time is honest. So yeah, we'll see how it works. seems like it's good. Okay, so it says synced and then run sync is if you want to sync it manually again. So what I saw from the video tutorial, uh, seems like you can decide if you want it every one hour or manual. I honestly prefer manual. Uh, customize formatting options. So here you can customize certain things. Well, it takes you back to this page. That makes sense. Let's close that. Let's go back to Obsidian. Yeah, let's see what happens. So it, it went to a base folder called Readwise. And yeah, let's take a look. So we should have come down here. As you can see, there is a folder. Oops, there you go. Either way, you can see it, right? <laughs> and now it seems to have categorized things on, you know, by books, because I don't have any Twitter highlights right now or any like blog post highlights. Uh, thing with Readwise right now. So we, of course, it categorizes things in books. If you don't want to have that categorization, you can decide that in the settings. But here in books, we have a couple of books, of course, getting things done. Classic, amazing productivity book. 
um, The Unfair Advantage, an, an amazing book that I really love. And this one that I'm reading right now, Why Greatness Cannot Be Planned. Yeah, really cool. So, of course, if we go into preview mode, yeah, so pretty nice. I mean, it's pretty cool that it has the location in here. But I guess it really depends on how you import your books, you know, having something like a link send you to that location of the book. Either way, I'm definitely going to test things out. And But yeah, so far it looks good. I mean, I like the fact that it does everything into nice bullet points. And then, of course, what's really cool is that, you know, the idea of bringing it to Obsidian is so that you can take notes on top of your notes, right? Or rather your own words on top of the highlights you know because if you were to write a book summary i know the thing is so much better if you put it into your own words but of course you need a bit of the context from the book to do that so that is why i think this is a great workflow um otherwise i really like the yeah here it is like the really cool functionality to just you know take a look at, at whatever you've been highlighting and and do like this space repetition software where you know like you get something that you want to remember or you want to see over a period of time there you go. I was just testing the mobile app and it's really nice. So yeah, I definitely need to play with Readwise a lot more. But so far, first impressions, bringing it to Obsidian, I think is a great idea. And I think it would work really nicely. Of course, it depends on a couple of things. But like, as you saw, like if you take notes on top of it, the cool thing is that you can sync it. Because like I said, there's tons of other ways in which you can use something else other than Readwise doing a lot more manually. But honestly, I was getting tired of doing things super manually. So I honestly think Readwise might be the best way to take notes on books inside of Obsidian. Let me know if you want me to review a bit more of, you know, the Readwise integration with perhaps Notion, seeing how Readwise by itself, you know, the space repetition software, how good is it? Because, you know, I'm getting a lot of myself, I'm getting myself a lot more interested into flashcards and space repetition and that kind of stuff. So I really want to explore that. And yeah, this video, you know, not a sponsored. I honestly just wanted to take a look at it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you want to see more Readwise videos. And if so, I'm happy to make them. So hope you have a good day. Hope you enjoyed this. And I'll see you in the next one. See you later. Bye.